I wanted to have a God time with you all and see what Jesus has to say today. All right, so Lord Jesus, what do you want to say to us today? I see people in the body of Christ as children and them jumping on this trampoline, like at one of those fun indoor kids parks where there's the foam pits and there's all different ways to have fun. The Father God wants his his body to be in a season of having fun in his presence. There's joy in his presence. In his presence is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. And he wants us to have childlike faith. I see a giant ice cream scooper. So he wants to feed us with sweet things. He wants us to come before him as children. And you know, you think about a child going into one of those uh, indoor play places there's so much freedom and I feel like he's saying there is freedom in our relationship with him to be ourselves and and play and I think play is so important for relationships um, I think that like we show love to each other to our close relationships when we play with each other whether that be like through hobbies or reading to our kids, doing things with our spouse like bowling or golfing or whatever we think is fun, going swimming. He wants us to play. The Father God wants us to play. It makes him happy when we play. And just like I'm happy when I see my kids playing. It makes my heart swell with joy. And it's the same thing when, we, when we're playing, it makes the Father's heart swell with joy. Okay, next, I see, uh, like, a different topic. I see a caterpillar, and I see its antennas, and those antennas are for gathering information. And I feel like Jesus wants us to be good listeners of the Holy Spirit and gather the information that he wants to give us. And not to move forward until we hear him every day living by his word, living by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Just like a caterpillar is moving forward slowly and a caterpillar makes choices based on what the antennas are telling it. That's how we should be walking in the spirit slowly with humility, depending on the word of God, not living on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from his mouth. So even in the small decisions about our day, you know, Holy Spirit, what do you say about this? Holy Spirit, do you want me to go here? Do you want me to go there? He cares so much about the intricacies of our life. And even, Holy Spirit, should I answer this phone call? Holy Spirit, should I respond to this person right now? Um, Holy Spirit, do you want me to take the kids swimming today or to the park? Um, when we listen to his voice, and make decisions based on his voice, it really keeps us out of a lot of trouble <laughs> and danger and out of the assignments of the enemy. Because every morning we wake up, the enemy has written a story for that day. He has assignments. He has plans for us. Uh, and we don't want to walk those ones out, right? We want to walk out the story that God wrote in his books before one of our days came to be, like David said. And how we walk out the story that the Father God wrote about us before we were ever conceived is by living by the Holy Spirit's voice. So as we follow his voice by our, in our day-to-day day -day decisions, that's where we start having angelic encounters, divine appointments, running into people at the right place at the right time in the right way with the right words, and the anointing comes and they get ministered to, we get ministered to. 
Um, you find the right deals at the right store for the very thing that you needed for your household or grocery or clothing items. I see this rock being thrown into the water and it's sinking to the ground, to the floor of the water. I see that that rock stands for peace. So um, God wants his peace to come down into our soul. The Bible says that a man's heart is like deep waters and a man of understanding draws them out. So the Lord compares a man's heart, which is the mind, will, and emotions and the strong concordance. The Lord compares the man's heart to water in the Bible. So that rock is peace. And the peace is coming down into our soul, being transferred by the Holy Spirit and sinking deep into our heart. That's what he wants today. Sinking all the way to the bottom floor, the very foundation of our soul. Thank you for your peace that's being deposited. It brings a sort of heaviness into our soul, but not a bad heaviness, like an anchor. This groundedness that we walk, that we carry throughout our day, that we walk out, that helps us make right decisions and purposeful decisions. I heard that word earlier, purposeful. We want to live our days purposefully with um, purpose, sowing. We want our decisions to be sowing um, things that will be fruitful later, things that serve a purpose. We don't want to waste our lives, right? We all want to know our purpose. We all want to know our destiny. Well, it boils down to the daily decisions, the little things. He who's faithful in little will be faithful in much. Okay, so I feel like that's um, all that the Lord wanted to say right now. And I wanted to share with you guys that if anyone would like me to seek the Lord for a personal prophetic word for you, you can leave your name in the comments and I will ask Jesus what he wants to say to you. Okay, God bless. Bye.